Welcome back. How is your adulting going? Yeah, remember two weeks ago we started our first adulting challenge on Tonight with Cassidy? Our goal was for all of us, myself included, to try to get eight hours of sleep a night. Mostly on the show I've been telling you about the times I failed at this challenge, but hey, a few times I succeeded. I totally adulted last night. I also totally look like this when I wake up. <laughs> That's a lie. Anyway, I got almost nine hours of sleep. I went to bed before midnight, which is a very rare thing for me. But somehow I woke up and still feel like I need 10 cups of coffee. Oh my gosh, the show ended. I started to go home. <laughs> and then I realized I still had my microphone. So, um, yeah, I even adulted last night. I got eight hours of sleep. And I still feel like my brain isn't working. So, okay, I guess maybe I need to keep up this adulting challenge to really see the long-term benefits, but uh, let's see how you guys did at this challenge. So we're going to our Facebook group, kicking it with Cassidy. Scott said with a one-year-old and needing to be up at work at 5.30 a.m., he has not even attempted to get eight hours of sleep. I said excuses, excuses, but it's okay. That's a real excuse. Tawny said she hasn't been able to sleep for the last week because her Ikea bed is still in the box. Also a good excuse. I'll come help you build it. Jordan said, not horrible, and she's known to take naps with her twins and even has proof, so, you know, she has receipts. Uh, Scott says he woke up a few times last night and he checked Facebook one of those times, so that's okay. And Michael, you guys, I guess you all have good excuses. I don't. Michael says he has extreme sleep apnea. He gets four to six hours of sleep and Heidi gets four and five. So you know what, maybe we all need some help. Also, uh, a fail from John, who said, me, I'm gonna get my charger and get eight hours of sleep. And then we lose a remote and have to go on a wild goose chase to find it. R.I.P. me. So yeah, the struggles are real with getting eight hours of sleep, but there is one person on our show's staff who has been successful apparently this whole time. It's McKinsey. <laughs> I did a morning show, got up at 3 a.m. for a long time, and I'll tell you what, when I started a regular sleeping pattern, you lose weight, you look better, you feel better. Always go to sleep and wake up at the same time. Drink sleepy time tea, that's what I do, and it helps me get to sleep in good pillows. Invest. So there you go. Excellent tips for getting eight hours of sleep from McKinsey. So now it is time to start our second adulting challenge. We will do it for the next two weeks. We're gonna do two weeks because clearly we need some extra time. So you can go to kgw.com slash vote right now or on your KGW app and pick. Cook dinner at home five times this week. Register to vote. You have until October 21st in Oregon and until October 29th in Washington, but tomorrow is National Registered Vote Day. Or put away laundry the same day you do it. That one could be risky for me because I, I have to do laundry when I get home. Anyway, vote and we'll reveal your answer at the end of the show. We'll be right back.